My channel is Kanye Gaiman. My name is Mark. This is a bit of a diversion from my Vrania Sky series. What I want to do is look at the customs house and I want to look at this sort of effect. Uh, look, we've got a big queue here. Now, I think there's always a, a, a danger of this in the game. and uh, But I think this has got worse with the addition of some of the things in the one of the latest updates that came with realistic mode and and that is because you can buy so many extra things now from the customs house and that's quite uh, useful to be able to do that you know there were certain resources i think you, you could not buy in the early days of the game i uh, you you can buy everything now and sell nearly everything you can't sell everything you can't sell a uh, bitumen and i think you can't sell concrete uh but pretty much everything else can be be bought and sold <laughs> including water and sewage now uh, uh you know they were new into the game and uh, they are now available uh, through the, uh, the the customs house and i have a water truck somewhere maybe not in that queue uh, but i have a water truck that is buying water from the customs house i have a, a line which has some dumper trucks uh, they're picking up coal for the, uh, the power plant and the heating plant they're taking it down and unloading it down uh, there and it goes into an aggregate storage and then goes through some conveyors into the the two uh, buildings and what I want to do is uh, stop them going to the customs house. It's only four of the vehicles, but I think it will improve the queue. But it gives an example of how you would do this uh, if you wanted to change the game. Now, why would you want to do it apart from this queue? And are you justified in doing it? And you absolutely are anyway. It's up to you how you play the game, uh, even though what I'm going to have to do is cheat i'm gonna to have to go into what's called cheat mode uh, and i'm gonna to have to uh, what some people might regard as cheating um it isn't it's intended to be primarily for designing new maps so it'd be something that would be done uh, before a game started when you want to create a map and you want to for instance uh, build a customs house on, on that map and, and and place it exactly where you where you want uh, you'd have to uh, follow the the same procedure as i'm going to do today now here i'm of course already in a game i bring the the interface back up we'll do it there we go and um you know we're, we're already in a game it's already 1961 so i you know we're not designing a new map this has already got a city built uh, nevertheless the functionality is still there in the game and you can do it but you cannot do it through normal game mode so let me just show uh, what i mean here if i go into something like uh, the uh, i don't know road cargo yeah i'll go to the vanilla road cargo uh, and you say that i can build a road cargo here uh, or on this side of, of the road wherever i wanted to as long as I'm not building it on top of an existing building or I'm, you know, where the, the, the power lines are and that the, the ground is reasonably flat. You see that's yellow. I need to, to flatten the ground a bit. Uh, but it, it's going to go here. It, it, it works fine. Fits there. But what I can't do is build it there. And it says outside the map borders. Actually, that is on the border. And, and what it's telling me is that part of the building is let me just see so you can see it from above uh, part of the building is red part of it's green part of it is outside the border and won't let me build nor can i of course go right over the border and build it uh, outside of uh, my own uh, territory in addition what i can't do either in this game is go outside of the border with the camera you know I, it won't let me i can't go over the border so the the border is the um the extent to, of the playing area within normal playing mode 
Now, if you've uh, started a, a game where you've got a random map, you'll see that the game uh, creates the borders and places customs houses at random positions uh, uh, on the map uh, for you. And it will also create these things like a, a road or a rail connection to the customs house on the foreign side of the border not on your side of the border of course it would just leave this all uh, blank so that's all built into the uh, automatic functionality of creating a map for you a random map um, now if you wanted to change what the random map did uh, you can do it uh, but you can also uh, change these uh, these buildings and these buildings are pretty frustrating and i'm just going to let the game play so we can get an idea of this look there's nothing parked there and that one lorry has gone in now once it's parked up another lorry will go in will the third one get in i think it won't because yeah there we go the first lorry has decided to pull out and the 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 third lorry would not go in until the other one is out of the way now it can't go in because the door is coming out we, we we're not quite in a situation where we're one in and one out um you know sometimes we can get two vehicles parked in here but we rarely get three parked in here and we never get four um you know it, it looks to me as if there might even be five spaces there i'm absolutely sure with the the one on the left hand side if uh, anything ever loads on loads at that um in any case this is this is terribly inefficient uh, and leads to these queues and i don't even have an awful lot of vehicles coming to the customs house and you know th this is the frustration this is a large customs house not even a medium or a, a small one which has less parking spaces uh, in reality i'm not even clear that the small customs house would be uh, any uh, less used to you here uh, the the small customs house i think has two parking spaces and if you rarely ever use the third look I'm, I'm i'm just being made a liar because the third one is going in there uh, but this dumper truck now won't move i bet you won't move until most of the uh, uh, two or even three of these vehicles have left because they'll have filled up and they'll get to leave before he gets in there's the other uh, covered hole leaving Will the dump truck leave now? Yeah, it, it does, yeah. So so uh, it's to do with the fact that they, they can't cross the paths of each other. So he can't move while one of the other vehicles is moving. See, he can't just follow him in and go into the second spot. He has to wait until the, he gets into his spot and parks up. Same with this uh, dumper truck, the third uh, vehicle here. He won't move until the cement mixer, the concrete mixer, I should say, is in his position. And now this open hole probably won't get parked because one of those will pull out. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I think I proved my point. Now, uh, there is in the Steam Workshop replacements for these uh, vanilla buildings. So you can get uh, replacements that look like them, but uh, actually are, are more efficient in terms of the, the parking, uh, I believe. Now, I haven't tested them. I have not really used them. So I I can't vouch for them. But I understand that, that they are better. You can also get a replacement, which uh, allows you to have a much, a much less modern looking building. You can have an older style customs house and i think there's a one that allows you to have this number of road connections but then has far more rail connections i i, I believe it has eight or even ten rail lines uh, out, out the side uh, but again is this sort of style of building um and you know if you really want a big rail hub uh, to be here at the border uh, because and this can get quite frustrating and even worse if you only have two rail connections or one rail connection 
uh, you can have lots of trains backed up uh, on your your real importing and exporting um, uh, uh, cargo by by rail. So how do you do it? Well, uh, we have to cheat, and uh, that's exactly what 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 we're going to do. Uh, we have to use what's called cheat mode, and to do so, we have to use the first three letters of cheat. They are C, H, and E. And uh, apologies if you don't understand my accent. Uh, they are the letters uh, C for Charlie, H for hotel, and E for echo. The first three letters of the word, the English word cheat, C, H, E. And you have to hold all three keys on your keyboard at the same time. Now to do that, what you do is you press the C key first, hold it down, press the H key, hold it down, press the E key. Now the C key, uh, you might not use it very much, but the C key on my keyboard has that effect of spinning me round in the air. Uh, that's a counterclockwise, anti-clockwise uh, direction. And I have the X key spins the camera around in that way so so when i want to go into cheat mode i have this slightly disorient disorientating effect that uh, by holding the c key down to press the c h and e key uh, i start spinning the camera so i'm going to do that c h e and there's cheat mode activated now to deactivate it i do exactly the same C H E deactivated. It's just an, an off and on to activate and deactivate it. Let me do that again. Hold the C key down, H and the E. Cheap mode activated. Right, okay. Now there's various things you can do in cheap mode. I'm not going to go into all of those. Uh, what I want is the landscape editor mode. Now the landscape editor mode is on the uh, general debug cheat functions so you can see yourself what's there i'm not going to go through it but there is an option here to go into landscape editor mode and it's just a tick off and on now watch what happens on the left hand menu when i tick the landscape editor mode and you see that you get a completely different um menu that allows you to do various things to edit your landscape you can add rocks you can uh, do water erosion you can um, do a lot of terraforming uh, all sorts of things like that now the bottom menu of the game remains largely the same so you have all of the same functionality to build roads and things like that in landscape editor mode you get one additional button so if you watch between the construction industry and the terrain tools uh, you know they're right next to each other in standard game mode but when i go into landscape editor mode i get an extra button and that's the extra button that i want because that extra button which is uh, described as save civ you know, i'm entirely sure what civ stands for um uh, or, or, or why it's there but when you go into that you get uh, some additional functionality that you don't get for building things in uh, the standard game mode now the, the ones on the left are just to build uh, houses you think well well I, I can build houses in the standard game mode but some of these i think are the um the village houses that the the game uses to generate uh, populated maps when you when you have a populated map it will build a city for you uh, a, a small sort of old style rural city uh, using these buildings I think um, uh, there's a small church on there I think there might even be the uh, that might even be the big church so, yeah there's the cathedral so so if you ever want to put a cathedral on your map you know, so look at the size of them uh, but uh, you know you can get them on the uh, ra uh, the auto generated maps the populated maps will put these these cathedrals these uh, big sort of churches uh, 
in your cities. Uh, but when you build one yourself, you, you don't get these as an option uh, to, uh, to to build one. Uh, that's that's how you get one. But what I want is uh, these two these two buttons here. The first one to look at is the foreign power connection, and there is I've got one is uh, I think is that's a mod. I can't remember what it's for. Uh, but anyway, there's the vanilla foreign power connection, and that's it. It's just a transformer. But you see that what I can't do is put this transformer down here. It won't let me build um, on this free bit of land. And this is because it is a special uh, customs building, if you like. Uh, and it knows, the game knows that this is a type of building uh, that uh, only can operate on the border. And when I go to the border, it goes green. So that is that building that you can see there the foreign connection and this is not a standard transformer even though it looks like one because it has this functionality about exporting and importing and this is how you would find you go to this save button and you go to foreign power connection this is how you would add your own extra foreign power connections so let me just see uh, where we have them on this map this map has no foreign power connections down here, for instance. Uh, and that would be a bit awkward if you're building a city here because of the, the position of the, uh, the river. See, this is almost like an island. It's, uh, it's a peninsula that's got the, the river on every side with, with the steep sides. So this would be really awkward if you wanted to start a city here. Uh, but you could. You could just drop a foreign connection. Uh, foreign power connection in here and you would have all of the standard functionality of that one up the hill uh, and um, you know you could then start a city down here now could you also uh, you say well yeah Mark but you get power but what, how, what are you going to do to to buy your gravel and your cement and things like that I need a custom house well uh, if you go to the button next to it you get the options for the three vanilla customs house large small and medium let me just say I, I say i wanted a medium i could drop a medium one here uh, that has one road connection and one rail connection uh, and well i'm just going to do it i'll just pop that down and let me do the same thing for the foreign power connection Put that say slightly off to one side uh, and uh, there we go now if we come out of landscape edit a mode and unpause the game they will build no they won't because i've got it set up to for <laughs> the uh, construction so let me just buy them so buy there we go and you see as soon as this uh, uh what looks like a transformer is finished we see that it is in fact a foreign power connection with all of that functionality that i mentioned and of course this is a customs house uh, with the ability to pick up tourists foreign workers and buy and sell all of the the things here and also to uh, particularly for sort of realistic mode to buy vehicles here you can buy um, track builders the, uh, and all sorts of things so you can buy concrete mixes whatever it is you, you buy them here at the border that functionality is there and these are the vanilla buildings now what you see is that uh, when you have put them down uh, remember we're, we're in uh, we're not in landscape editor mode now I can't go over the border and uh, I can't again do anything in terms of building something on the other side of the border oh it's not going to let me outside the map borders so but if i go again now remember we're still in cheap mode so we've still got these uh, cheap menus here i can go to landscape editor mode and now i can even uh, say i want to build i'll just build a gravel road um i now can cross the border 
and I can build things on the border, uh, on the other side of the border. Now, this is this is purely for effect. But you see that that that's what the game auto generates these, or a map builder would would do something like that. And let me just then pause the game. Um, how is it uh, again done it so that? Wants me to construct it. Ah, not the planning. And now let me go ahead and pay for it. Oh, you're very slow speed that up now it's quite a long piece of road of course uh, so we're gonna get anyway we're gonna get a road there 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 we go that's finished and uh, and this is how you would do it if you were designing a map in the first place to have a, a custom setup um now, so you get the the three different types of vanilla setups and uh, vanilla customs houses and that's that's how you could do it now if you were uh, um, kind to yourself or, or to anyone else you're sharing the map with, uh, of course, what you would do is you would not use one of the vanilla buildings that are crap on terms of the uh, uh, making vehicles queue up. Uh, you'd use one of, one of the mods that's available. And as I mentioned, there is even a, a mod that allows you with a, an old style um, something like let's see where it is uh old customs house and old customs house version 2 that's something like this um it has again the three connections and three road and three rail but the type of buildings are you know that that, that older looking buildings that would might fit in better with something like an early start if you if you wanted to start in 1940 or 1920 or something like that that those sort of modern style buildings that are the vanilla ones uh you, you might feel that they, they don't really fit in um now um i said you can build a road you can build a railway you could actually build anything you want in landscape edda mode on the other side of the border um so play at your heart's content here uh there's nothing to stop you doing that i uh, if you want to design the, the the game to look like there is actually activity and there's things going on on the other side of the border uh, you can do it not just build a road and build a railway line uh, or you know build um power lines high voltage power lines to the the, the border connection i uh, the None of them are needed. The road is not needed. The railway line is not needed. High voltage cables to this transformer are not needed. This works without them. Uh, they're purely for effect. And if you want to build other things on the uh, other side of there, you can do it. Um, anyway, what I want to do is show uh, the uh, mod that I have. It's a set of eight buildings and these are available on the steam workshop from potsky now potsky is me uh, on the steam workshop my nickname is uh, potsky p-o-t-s-k-i and i'll put a link to the mod in the description of this video and it's one single uh, download to subscribe to but it gives you eight different customs uh, buildings and I, maybe they're not so well named some of them uh, there's a customs rail cargo sorry actually there's 10 buildings uh, i have to remember that there's a customs bus station customs rail station a customs rail cargo a road cargo uh gravel loading which actually is is aggregate uh, and i'm gonna do that first so i'm gonna squeeze it in there there's plenty of room um and i can put it right up beside the uh the vanilla cargo uh sorry the vanilla customs house and i can pop that in there now i will again come 
out of um, landscape editor mode. And build that with rubles. And now I have a building called uh, Loading Gravel number four. Um, and it looks from the interface not like a gravel uh, aggregate unloading uh, uh, bay. It looks like a customs house. Uh, and I'm talking about the window here. I'm not talking about the building itself on the on the uh, on the map. I'm talking about the window. The window shows uh, that you have tourists and foreign workers. It has a, a button to buy vehicles. So all of the functionality that you would have within a customs house, except it is limited to aggregates only. And because of the way it's set up, it is only going to allow loading of aggregates. In other words, to buy one of these aggregate uh, uh, things, you know, to buy coal or to buy gravel or to buy uh, iron ore. You can't sell anything here because you can't drop it off. There's no functionality to drop anything off here. So, so you can buy these uh, these aggregates. Uh, so, in fact, it's probably better named as um, as Eureka. Is that the name of me? Customers Pez Eureka uh, Customs Aggregate Loading, something like that. Uh, to make it clear what the functionality of this is. And now what I can do is I can uh, just connect these up. To my city. Uh, I don't have a city down here, of course. Uh, I've made this in a completely uh, out of the way place. And just uh, again. One that one that and you can see by a combination of these uh, these different buildings uh, you can you can design quite an extensive border crossing place actually uh, because remember in normal game mode which i'm back into now i can't cross the border and i can't build anything on the other side of the border remember when i'm in landscape editor mode i can i can um Cross the border and I can build things and um, I could um, I can drop office buildings I can drop a police station you know whatever I wanted I can put fences on the other side of the border to make it look as if this is all a whole uh, border customs sort of area if you like and you, you can you can do quite a lot with it um, and let me just go back in again sorry the about the fact we have to go back and forward uh, but i'm going to just drop in the different buildings that i have and they are so we on here go through them one at a time the first is a a bus station I'll put that closest to uh, the next one is a rail platform i'm going to put it here next to the railway line and then the next one is a rail cargo road cargo uh, that's the uh, loading of uh, aggregates there's an unloading of aggregates 
without there. And then there is a real depot. Put the real depot down here. Ah, uh, the red star's a bit in the way, isn't it? Um, now, this is an awkward building. Don't like this uh, uh, building in my mods anyway. Uh, and I wish I hadn't chose this one because you have to make sure this is the right way around. Because, look, it's got, it looks like it's got two rail connections. But one of them is, is sort of inside the building. So, so make sure you're pointing it around this way. So, so you've got the rail connection coming out onto uh, your own uh, territory rather than the, the, the foreign connection. And I'll just drop that there. And we've got a road depot. And the last two are a water road station and a water sewage, sorry, a sewage station. A water station and a, a sewage station. Just orientate them around here. They have pipe connections, but you probably wouldn't want to use the pipe connections. Uh, just use uh, this for uh, water trucks to come in and out. And the same with sewage trucks. It's there, you know, of course you can load and unload sewage you, know, you can do all of this at, at the vanilla buildings of course uh, this is for for you to choose what you want um don't know if it matters which way around you do it i'm just gonna i'll be fine get it positioned on the border properly right okay let me just drop out of landscape editor mode play and again I should have gone in to set it so that it, they would uh, just automatically build from rubles so you get the idea that we've now got all of these buildings I'll just go through them uh, very quickly one at a time oh, that's the real ones Oh, I don't want to demolish it. What have I done there? Buy it. Buy you. Okay. So what have we got here? So as I said, starting from this end, this is sewage. So I, what you see here, it's it suggests that you can get uh, sewage or clean water, but you can't because uh, only uh, I think. Um, this is only allows drop off and water uh, uh, trucks don't drop off so I think only sewage would operate out of this and similarly with the the the, um, the, the road uh, water station uh, the the uh, display suggests you can use uh, waste water or clean water but but I think only clean work water will work here uh, and and by the way, the the display of all of the customs buildings always show tourists and foreign workers, but you could not uh, do tourists or foreign workers here. If you sent a bus into this vehicle into into this building, uh, it it wouldn't have any way to actually pick people up. So I don't think I'm I'm fairly sure you cannot use them. Uh, though actually, the functionality to buy new vehicles does work. Um, this is a road cargo, uh, sorry, a road depot. Uh, so uh, this is intended for you to be able to uh, buy new vehicles, really. There's, there's no resources you can uh, pick up and unload here. It's purely for that purpose. So it's, it's, a, it's, it's a, almost a role play thing. And again, an effect of uh, what it looks like. So from the uh, the uh, the road depot, uh, what we should be able to do is buy a, a, a vehicle. Uh, let's just buy something like a bus. Uh, it's one of these buses, absolutely fine. And if we go to the bus, uh, so you don't actually see the bus itself. Um, I guess you could pretend it's inside that, that building. Uh, and let's tell it to come out, go to one of our own depots, and there we go. Has it at the parking space and then it comes out so you can do that 
and that is a uh, that is uh, aggregate that's the aggregate load loading isn't it um sorry unloading this is aggregate unloading so uh, you can only you can only uh, drop off aggregates here uh, again there's workers and tourists displayed but you can't do anything with them uh, this is a road cargo uh, so this has uh, all of the resources to pick up or unload you can load or unload but only the things that come in covered holes open holes and um, refrigerated uh, lorries I, I don't think there's anything there's just those three types uh, of vehicle so uh, no cement no asphalt uh, no concrete and no aggregates um, then we've got a bus platform so this does not allow pickup or uh, drop off of any resources by trucks it only allows you to pick up foreign workers or the tourists already seen the foreign, foreign electricity connection uh, this is a loading aggregate loading uh, so uh, you can buy these uh, aggregates you can't sell them here a uh, foreign workers and tourists you no know, you can't do anything with them because you couldn't send a bus to this this location and then we've got some real uh, uh, rail buildings uh, a rail platform so you could send a passenger train here to pick up foreign workers or, or foreign tourists uh, that works uh, very well and of course then the the passenger train wouldn't have to go to the the vanilla customs house that would free up that if you only had that one single rail connection uh, you could use that for your cargo and still have uh, picking up passengers by rail but of course uh, you might prefer to just uh, replace the single rail in the vanilla customs with the the the, the double rail of a proper rail cargo uh, and if you wanted to you could put two three four of these uh, rail cargo down uh, so that you could build quite a large extensive uh, rail hub or a rail uh, sort of um, crossing here at the border uh, the the rail can pick up uh, anything that you can load onto a, a railway truck uh, it shows tourists and foreign workers but uh, you can't pick them up so again no way for for a passenger train to actually collect the the, the foreign workers and then finally there is the uh, a, a rail depot and and this is purely to simulate the fact that you might want to uh, put one at the border uh, just to be able to um, load or buy um rail vehicles now it shows the fact that you can buy a bus but um i don't know if you can you might be able to actually um because there is a road connection out of it so if you connected that road uh out of this building maybe that would work for for road vehicles but the intention is to to put this in as a connected by um connected by rail cheap rail and and allow you to buy trains here and buy a diesel locomotive fifty five thousand rubles uh so we should now have oh pull that down out of the way of the messages let me just build that Oh, there's a train in there uh yeah there's a diesel in there um to get it out we need to send it somewhere else we need to send it to a rail depot uh so we'd need to build a, a rail depot somewhere in our city but anyway we, we've got all of the functionality that we need you can combine 
these buildings that are part of my mod with vanilla customs houses and the vanilla um power connections uh, or you could just put them down on their own uh, so this can improve the functionality of a, of a, of a border crossing uh, or you can even restrict the border crossing because if you took this out so let me just show that if i go back into landscape editor mode just say we we were in a situation where uh, the game had generated a map for you uh, you could actually just take this out because when you're in landscape editor mode you now get the option to demolish you could actually demolish the um the border crossings that come that are generated for you by the game and replace them by uh, any of the buildings that i have here so if you wanted to take it out so that there was only a rail connection and no uh no road uh what i would do is i would take out the vanilla customs house replace it with a real cargo uh, customs building and uh, that would do the trick i'm going to just show that in uh, in reality i'm just going to scoot up the hill here to where the the uh, customs house is it's the vanilla customs house which has got the, the long queue so what i'm going to do is um in cheap mode re remember already go into uh, landscape editor okay i'm already in landscape editor so i can now go and build here and i'm going to go to the um, customers buildings i'm going to go to the loading of gravel remember it's all aggregates not just gravel i, I should rename the the building really to make that clearer so i'm going to drop that in next to the customs house and then i will just out of escape editor and put in gravel road just hook that up and bring that over to yeah get it to connect up there there okay let's go there build just use rubles to get it done straight away okay on pause and now we've got an aggregate loading and you see we have the functionality of it being a customs building and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show that i can go to a line i've got a line of, of dumper trucks that pick up coal from the the vanilla customs house and i'm going to send them to the the new building so I'll just add the new stop and the new stop i'm going to tell it to pick up uh, coal i uh, will wait until loaded or like it probably won't matter and then i will remove the customs house save that you see now the route is going from my power plant and my heating plant aggregate storage uh, to the, the 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 new loading uh, at the border position so have we got any dumper trucks waiting in this queue yeah we have so he's already on his way into the vanilla oh, he's come out he's realized uh, uh he'd be better served by the other one was he oh what's going on here with me root uh, let me just check that line dump a truck uh load gravel sorry load coal yeah unload coal yeah what about you ah yeah you've got coal so i think i must have been looking at one of the construction vehicles uh rather than um so i mean i don't know why he's traveling with without anything i think he's going to turn 
right okay he's now realized that he's now assigned to the the line that goes into there so he's going to go and get coal i'm just going to pause that and let me just um let's just just follow him and i'm i hope that's useful of how to to use these uh these uh modded buildings for the customs house uh warning if you're not sure uh how to 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 use the mods if you've downloaded it and i, I give a description but i, I hope this is a, a little bit more uh, useful to actually watch it in practice um and it gives you some idea of how you could develop your game oh that's interesting it's sort of like a there's a fence down the middle of that that's odd they can actually drive through that fence um i don't like that anyway I'll, i'm gonna give them another road connection in and uh yeah let's uh let's build that use just use a bit of rubles to do that and now he'll come out oh no he's still gone through the fence <laughs> right we'll pretend that fence is not there and uh you know let's watch him let's follow him and um, anyway, you've been watching Canny Gaiman. Uh, my name's Mark, and I'm out of here.